In order to get you up to speed and familiarized with your new scoreboard and keyboard, the Scoreboard Service Company has created this short video to help you understand how to operate your keyboard and to customize features to meet your specific needs. Let's begin by familiarizing you with the areas of the keyboard. On the top left part of the keyboard, you have an on-off switch for powering the keyboard on or off. You have an LCD display allowing you to see on the keyboard what the scoreboard is displaying. You have home and guest game inserts on the keyboard. You have a numeric keypad for entering the specific numerals for each sport. You have a sport specific insert to adjust various scoring functions. Along the top, you have a switch for starting and stopping the clock. Next to the LCD display screen, there are three yellow buttons, one for setting the clock, one for timeouts, and one for manually activating the horn. The three removable game inserts on the keyboard allow you to change and control various sports with a single keyboard controller. Your keyboard comes with a full set of inserts for either indoor sports or outdoor sports scoring. Many keyboard functions are similar across a variety of sports scoring situations. We will use American high school basketball settings as the default for this tutorial. Be sure you have the basketball inserts inserted into the insert holders. Home score is always on the left of the keypad, guest score is right of the keypad, and the sport function insert is located on the far right of the keyboard below the clock start and stop button. Let's begin by turning on the power to the scoreboard and the controller. Your scoreboard will automatically display the preset game time and the first period. The home and guest scores will display zero. The timeouts left displays are preset to the total number of team timeouts remaining for each team. The timeout numbers will reset at the halftime of the game. At the beginning of a new game, enter the starting five players numbers for both home and guest teams into the scoreboard. Press player in or out and enter the player's number on the numeric keypad. Now press enter. Repeat this process for all five players for both home and guest teams. If your scoring equipment is equipped with the Generation 2 NP software, use the numeric keypad to enter a player number, then press Enter. The LCD screen will automatically go blank. Now enter the numbers for all five starting players for home and guests. When a player substitution occurs, press the home or guest team player in out key and then press the number of the player coming out of the game and replacing the number of the player coming in the game. The Generation 2 NP software has a feature that allows the users to do a mass substitution. If a team substitutes five new players at the same time, you can press the player in out key and hold it down for three to four seconds. Then confirm that you want to remove players. This greatly reduces the time required to enter the new player information into the keyboard and scoreboard. To increase the score by plus three, plus two, or plus one, press the home or guest score insert. If your scoreboard is equipped with the player points file display and you have the player's points options turned on in the advanced options menu settings, you will be prompted to input the number of the player who just scored. Use the numeric keypad to input the number of the player, then press Enter to have the points added to the home or guest score. The player points fouls display will then update automatically. Remove a point by pressing the minus one key in the home or guest score, and if prompted, enter the player number. Now press Enter. Press the timeouts left key to manually record the timeouts left in the half for the home or guest team. Press the bonus button to manually track the bonus files for each team. Note that if the options menu setting for the bonus files is turned on, this function is automatically handled for the operator 
and is stored in the keyboard memory until the controller is powered off. If your scoreboard displays team fouls or player fouls, press the foul key and then the enter key to have the team foul total increase by one. You can manually change the team foul total by using the keypad. Press enter. Use the keypad again to enter the number of the player committing the fouls and then press enter. The display now shows the player number and his personal foul total. Press enter to increase the player's foul total by one or you can use the keypad to manually enter the correct foul total. Now press enter. The display now shows the player number and his personal foul total. The player stats key displays the running total for both points and fouls for each player programmed into the keyboard. The player stat information is displayed on the keyboard and not on the scoreboard. Pressing the possession button will toggle the scoreboard between home and guest possession. Pressing the plus one key will add one second to the game time each time you press the key. Press the period key to advance the display to the next period. The advanced options menu screen allows you to preset the number of periods or halves used during your game. This setting is usually configured to display four periods or two halves. Adjust the shot clock by pressing the key and using the keypad to enter the change in the shot clock time being displayed. Press the yellow set clock key to select a preset time or enter a four digit time that's not in the preset settings. Press the yellow time out key and select either time out one or time out two. Then press enter to begin the time out. Depending on the options menu settings you choose, you will display the running time out on the keyboard or on the keyboard and the scoreboard. The default factory settings will have timeout 1 set for a 1 minute full timeout and timeout 2 set for a 30 second timeout. The timeout warning option, when turned on, gives a short horn and automatically sounds when there are 15 seconds left in the timeout. The display option, when turned on, means during a timeout the game clock time display will be replaced temporarily with the timeout timer. To manually activate the scoreboard horn, press the yellow horn key. The option menu setting for the horn allows you to automatically sound the horn when the clock reaches zero. Press the clock switch on the top right of the keyboard to start and stop the game clock. Familiarize yourself with the keyboard controller and scoreboard during practice game situations to become comfortable operating during official game time play. If you have any questions, please call the Scoreboard Service Company at 1-800-411-3136.